Hi there, it's Sandra from Creating Spain and today I've got another LED card base for you and this one is slightly different in that I am using a string of a battery operated fairy lights and I am going to be doing that so that they can switch on or off. Now the switch is this folded piece of card. I've done this many times on my videos now. And uh, basically when it contacts the two, the positive and the negative, it will switch things on. When it's moved over to the left side, then everything will be switched off. So this is my string of fairy lights. Now I have chopped off the extra wire on one end. Need to test my battery. That's not working. So there we go. So once this is on the positive side and the other ones on the negative side, the correct way around, they'll light up. But they'll only light up once you've prepped them. Now while I've got this in place, this one on the top is the positive side. I am just going to put a curl in that wire so I know that's the positive side. Just makes it easier for me later on. Now the prep work for this just involves taking the coating off of the end of the wire. It has a coating on it because if it didn't, these would short themselves out in normal use. So you have to either attack it with a nail file and scrape the coating off, or if you happen to have one like I do, I use an e-file and it's very simple. You just do that and the sanding band acts as the file and basically it takes off the coating. So it's a very easy way of doing it if you happen to have one of these. So that's the positive wire and this is the negative one. And I need to put it underneath the battery. The battery will go there. Now, because this is just a tiny little wire, what I'm going to do to improve the chances of it maintaining good contact, I'm going to put a piece of copper tape over here. All right, and now I'm going to curve this wire around because again, that gives it a better chance of making contact. And I'm going to put a piece of copper tape over the top. Now for this, I want a copper tape which has conductive adhesive. The big one that I got up there is the old one of mine which doesn't, but since the wires are on the top of it and not underneath it, that doesn't matter. But for the top of it, I want this to be covered with this tape, but I want it to make contact from left to right all over that loop. So if I now put my battery on top of there and put my positive on there, you can see when it touches the lights come on. I'm going to fold the rest of the wire up out of the way and tape the lights in place and I'll put the wire up towards the top of the card and sticky tape it in place so it can't move. Having got these lights in place I have stuck the wires down so that the lights can't shift but also because if you stick the wires down they can't move around at all in the card and cause problems which they might otherwise do. And I've put a piece of copper tape from the top of the battery down here and along here. Now there is a line here where the switch is going to go. This is where the switch will end up. And I've got the switch, copper tape on the bottom. And the switch will go in like that and move from left to right or right to left, whichever. Causing this piece here, which is open at the moment, there is a little gap just here, causing that to close. Now this piece of wire is the positive side and this needs to be curled up as well and to go on top of this copper wire here. Now at the moment, as you can see, the lights are not on. When the copper goes over there, the lights come on. When it goes there, they go off. It completes the circuit. So what I want to do is put another piece of copper tape over this to secure it. 
and I do it with the copper tape because it's conductive adhesive on it and it means it actually contacts the top and the bottom of the wire because you have such a very small surface area to contact when you're using wire like this. So that will go over the top of there. And now when I do that, the lights come on. So the circuit part of things is completed. And that is probably the easiest way of doing a multi-light circuit. So what I need to do now is to decorate the front panel and put that together. Now, when you put it together, make sure that the line down here where your switch is going to go left to right is not obscured by any double-sided tape because if it is and it stops this from moving it's going to wreck your complete card. Now what I will say is that using a 2016 battery I don't bother with foam I'll just use a double-sided tape because it makes things less bulky and you can put tape in all sorts of areas that you want to to make sure that it's all nice and flat and doing what it should do just keep it away from this area here so if you're concerned about it what i suggest you do is to take a pencil put your switch on the far left where it would be draw a line around it now this one i know goes down to there Put it to the far right and draw a line around that. It's going to be that level. And as long then as you avoid that little box, you'll be fine. Okay, so I would put my tape no closer than that. Okay, this side it can go down there, but I wouldn't put anything any closer than that because I don't want to stop this from moving. Now when it comes to the front of the card, you can change the size, you can change the shape of the holes, you can do what you like. So I'm going to do the decoration on the front panel and for this I want a night sky. And so I'm going to put a little drop of glycerin on my tile as normal. This is what I've cut out and this is an image from Pixabay and I cut it out with my silver bullet and as you can see it is very very delicate and as it happens these reindeer will just go over the holes that I've made isn't that amazing? They will just go over. Very carefully resized that image was. Okay, so now I'm going to liven it up quite considerably by putting lots of stars on and I have such beautiful stars it's hard to know which ones to pick. I'm just using tiny little dabs of matte varnish to make them stick on. So I have a lot of tape on here but I've been very careful to only put a thin piece of tape here and to keep this square well clear of any tape although I do have quite a lot around the card in general. So the finished card looks like this. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll share this on social media and I'll see you again soon. Take care now. Bye bye.